Namaste everyone. Good evening. I was going to do a reading with the pendulum on um, the Eastern Cougar that is, is now on the um, extinct list. And um, as you can see, I have a picture of the earth up next to it, just to get a feeling of, um, of this and see what comes from it. Uh, it is just so sad when any creature becomes extinct and is no more and you know every um, every animal plant um, all of it um, in nature keeps the balance in place and when we lose one it affects the balance along with everything else happening on the globe now it certainly doesn't help um, and with these creatures, I just did a little bit of reading on the Eastern Cougar. They do help keep the tick population under control, uh, which does help um, the health of humans, as well as the deer population. And, uh, you know, every, every animal, uh, whether they're predators or herbivores, um, they do keep the natural... Um, balance in place and uh, this is just a very very sad happening so let's see what happens when we get the pendulum involved in this and this is my broken pendulum you can see it's a little bit bowed there as it broke and cracked and this is um shanghai uh pendulum and even though it cracked i put it together again and it works fabulous and it's been great, although it may do a lot of tapping. Hopefully it won't break from that, but we'll see. Okay, and with my arm up like this, it's going to start kind of driving me crazy. So let's see if we can get the best setup here. Aye, okay, maybe this will help. I don't know. Um, okay, so here we go and let's see what happens. Oh, it's just tapping that um, cougar, as you can see on the forehead, um, and just sensing it out. And it's moving now, and I can't really show where it's how it's moving. I'm just going to have to explain. Uh, it becomes very light about here, and then it starts to migrate out. Um, that's why maybe it's better if I'm holding the phone, but I can only explain that it is migrating out and then circling uh, to show that this um, this creature, this, this beautiful creation really has um, has has moved uh, away. Uh, away from the planet okay so it's migrating out and then it's sh it's circling uh, the pendulum is my hand is light my arm is light um, and I don't I just uh, I, it's hard to imagine for others that possibly that haven't experienced this pendulum thing but um, in this way where it actually moves um, it moves my hand and arm, and even though it looks like I may be moving it, it's not so. It Honestly, my hands are light, my arm is light, and it just does that. So it did show that it is moving away. Okay, it's moving away from, from the planet. It has moved... Um, moved on um so this is uh i really don't know if there's a few left or not i know it's in certain areas they're extinct um certainly there's still cougars around but this particular eastern one is definitely very sparse if not completely gone okay so we're gonna it's just gonna continue to um Get a sense of this animal and in terms
terms of really making contact with it. Uh, okay, so it's got a, definitely a sense about it that is, um, I can see its footsteps now moving on the earth. I can see uh, it's kind of, I don't want to say mountainous, but some jutting forms that it, it will walk on. Certainly it, it can get around these things. These um, cougars can leap. They're very agile. They're very strong. And let's see what it's going to do to the earth now. Um, okay, so it's going around the... Um, The earth part of the earth and it's just um, really getting heavy around this this area I'm feeling just a heaviness there when it, it, it does touch the earth it, it just stays right up against it and it's heavy uh, it's um, Okay, and what is I'm, I heard in my mind is life is dying on some level. Uh, this is um, life is dying on some level. And let's get more of a feeling of what that is. Life is dying on some level for... Uh, populations that are uh, not populations that do that are, are in some ways helpless. They're, they're helpless to whatever is taking place on around the globe. They're helpless to that. They don't have a choice. And uh, that's, it doesn't, there's a, a multitude, quite obviously, of life forms that do not have a choice. They are, they're just victims or they just are um, influenced by whatever conditions take place on the planet they just have to go along with it either you know not just um animals and plants and and whatever life forms are certainly humans in many ways too they just need to um be pushed and pulled by whatever energies are in place in terms of the hierarchy of, of these power structures now that are around the globe. Now, I mean, it's it's not a new happening, This these power structures. It's, oh gosh, it gets so heavy, you can just feel it pull to the earth. Um, okay, and, and there are some tears. I do see some tears in my mind. It, and, and there's tears by this this creature. There's some tears flowing. And this doesn't mean to be just depressing or sad in its way. I mean, certainly it is in some ways. But just to give a shine, a light on, on what is happening now in the world. Um, so many things people are caught up in. They don't always really pay attention to these kinds of things uh, and, and are aware of the, the delicate balance in many ways that is here uh, that needs to be preserved and held as precious as they're caught up in in just a, again, I am just seeing a fence, like a circular fence. They're they're caught up in these fences, literally, or these boxes, or these um, constraining ideations, and focused. And I just see a lot of heads down at computers and and logic, logic based. 
and in their world that way so that this world here gets disregarded so much. It gets disregarded and um, underappreciated, underloved, undernourished, and uh, brought to just this lower level that it's really um, it keeps the planet in balance. It keeps it keeps humans alive. It keeps uh, humans healthy, animals, plants, um, nature as being the foremost thing. Certainly if that was gone and perish, would perish and suffer uh, to the point where it just couldn't flourish at all, then human beings would be in a lot of trouble as it's beginning to erode now. Um, okay, so this uh, is just a, a heavy force here with these two together. Um, Let's give it a little time and see what happens. Okay. Okay, because it is showing going down. Okay, some things are degrading, they're changing. They're going away for good. Uh, okay, so this creature has knowledge there uh, that is um, fine-tuned uh, in hearing and seeing. Um, in... Uh, um, it is a predator. It's a predatory type of creature. Uh, I do see it devouring a deer. Um, it is a uh, okay. Again, it wants to float away. Okay, it's floating away. <laughs> So we've gone through that. This is known, certainly you can read about it, but just to show uh, some of this is gives, may give another feeling to it and raise some awareness of these things and, and the importance of it. So, okay, so heart. Heart beat like all other heart hearts. Um, heart beats the same as all other hearts um, in this in this life form. Um, it need to eat the same. It need to breathe the same. It need to um, be with Earth the same to survive as as all other life. Uh, it, it's uh, I, I do see a number one plus in the, in his right there. I'm not quite sure what that. Let's see. One plus means um, and a one plus here. Not sure. I just feel like that means it's just they're equal. Okay. Earth is in that. That's in the earth. Universe, you know, the universe. Um, let's see if this is it. No, there's <laughs> more to it. Um, one plus two plus three, it's kind of, it's showing. One plus two plus three goes on and on to make more life that is good for Earth. So when it says one plus, okay, so what it's saying is it's really down to the one. It's down to the bare bones of this of this animal. And that can be very true. I see bees in my brain. There's bees are going down in population. Lots, lots of things that are so crucial for life on, on this planet. Okay, so this is one level of, of things happening on planet Earth in addition to, as we know, so, so, so many layers 
of shoes now, right? Um, and not to sit there and, and worry constantly about this, but to raise consciousness about the preciousness of, of these life forms and to try to come out of our heads more to be present with what's happening now. So in terms of how to go forward, let's see if it's got any more to say um, about this Eastern Cougar, which is only one example of so, so many. Uh, okay, so in as far as, and I do see some footsteps moving forward. Let's see what, what to do, where to go with this. Okay, so just come up in consciousness. Okay, so humanity needs to rise higher in consciousness. And again, I see a lot of heads down at computers, um, logic. I, again, I mean, it's not computers are bad, but um, there's a dark shadow around it. Like there's so much logic happening now and calculations and people in these boxes of these kinds of things that uh, um, it, it stops their vision from looking much farther beyond that. Okay. Um, okay. So, okay, moving down, there's just a lot of devolving, quite honestly, happening. Now, uh, again, this isn't to be negative, but there's a lot of that taking place, as we know. And, um, um, or at least it's what's happening is a lot of that has been uncovered, and people are sinking lower in, in many ways in their heads about it. Like, um, it is a hard thing, but, uh, you know, getting lost in it so much that it does, it, it causes this heavy sinking down where we need to rise up more. And I see a helium balloon. We need to rise up and, um, connect okay so it's connecting so you show you like a puzzle okay connect connect different languages different places different homes different mothers different fathers uh, bring them together share food share love share smiles Unfortunately, I do see a gun. It does have red around it. <laughs> I'm sorry to bring this. In. Who can more news for everybody? But um, you yeah, know, there's a big X there. That needs to be that needs to be addressed heavily. Okay, that needs to be really heavily addressed. We we need to do that. Um, there's a tiny green sprout of green. There is some, some sprouting, you know. It, it's small. It's tender. It's fragile. Uh, to blossom, there's a small blossom, a small flower on it. It's tender. Again, it's fragile. It uh, needs a lot of sun. It needs a lot of air. It needs a lot of love. It needs a lot of care. There's a lot of heavy boots walking by it. They're heavy. They're army looking, you know, warring. Uh, it's missed it so far and it's still there, but um, in potential. But, you know, these things are heavy um, and, and we just need to really protect this precious life. Uh, with mindfulness is a good word. Mindfulness, awareness, meditation, um, health in our in our actions, in our words, in our speech. Health, 
Okay, it doesn't just mean eating healthy and worrying about our bodies constantly, but health in our thoughts, in our connections, in our in our hearts, in, in who we take to trust, um, you know, and how we treat our children. Take time with them. Bring them. Don't let them get all caught up in this world so much. Like, you know, let them play. Let them be children. All of it. It, it just, it takes, even if it's an hour a day, uh, it, it just takes people starting to do this so that we can live better for our children, for all of us. Yes, we need that, right? And and we don't want to lose one other animal. <laughs> we don't want to lose one other child to violence. We we just, we really don't. And it's not worth tending to these, you know, getting involved in all this corruption. And even if you think you're doing good so much, but uh, spending time with yourself. Take care of yourself first, really. And then to make the other be not so high in your world okay there's a lot of paperwork I'm seeing there's children just sitting there waiting I'm seeing that in my mind uh, adults just so 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 preoccupied now with with their um, with the with the world with money with business with these things and those are those have their place of course of course but you know, even like I say, an hour, an hour of time without computers and phones and, and all of this, okay? So um, let's see if we've got much more to say. Not too much. Um, we can look more into these cougars' eyes. And they are very beautiful. You can see they... Um, they are really focused, <laughs> these eyes, huh? So they're they're just into their um their focus, they're one pointed. Okay, this this creature is can get very, very one pointed, very serious with that. Okay, um but he's not anyone to mess around with either. But you know, he lives his natural way, okay? And, and we need to be able to live our natural way, which is not happening now. We can't do that. We can't be our natural selves. Many of us, most, uh, free to just flow it with our natural, our naturalness and, and our freedom. And we deserve that like anyone else. So we've got to begin. We, we really do. So, um, okay. So I think that's probably good. As my power's running out. So, okay. Thank you for tuning in and have a great evening. Namaste. Bye.